Hi there, it's AI Claire. Thanks for being here. This is where I share my favorite AI tools with you. Uh, this would be a part of my top three series where we've had uh, number, th th number three in the list yesterday, which was perplexity. And number two today is, drum roll please, Pika. So I look forward to showing you all about that. You can see pika.art is actually up on my screen right now. If you want to go ahead, sign up for the waiting list, or maybe you'll get lucky and you'll get accounts, an account straight away. There's a free, uh, free basic subscription as well if you want to go for that. Basically, uh, we are going to learn how to create videos with Pika from either prompts or images, and I'm going to show you how to do both. And there'll be a little bit of a bonus as well because we're going to use CapCut to actually put some of these uh, video videos together and create a masterful video at the end. So bear with me, let's get on. If you like these videos, please subscribe so that you will always be inundated by my videos and share them, send feedback, love to hear it. We're all here together learning all about AI and I'm sure you've got some fabulous insight as well. So let's go ahead and start talking about Pika. We're here on the home page where I can explore. There's two different formats, either the grid format or the videos on one on top of each other like that. I'll let you explore that a bit more. Um, in the explore area, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to actually create from a prompt uh, a, a video. So this is something that I did earlier, which is we wanted to create a video of the Sagrada Familia in Barcelona in the distance with New Year fireworks and a crowd of onlookers celebrating the New Year. So what we can do as well, um, we can either add an image or video, we're going to do that next, but first off we're going to do with a prompt. We can have a video option. With the aspect ratio we can choose our size. 16.9 would be obviously widescreen or good for presentations, 9.16 good for Snapchat, um, at TikTok etc. Uh, one, one would be um, for, for Instagram, but I'll, I'll let you choose that frames per second so you can play with that later. I'm going to keep it on the first one. And then motion control, we can actually, in our second part of it, if we wanted after, we could pan left or right, tilt, up, down, rotate, and zoom in and out. So I'll show you a couple of examples of that. And then also in the parameters, we can actually see and put it up to be more consistent with the text or not, etc. So I'll let you play with those in more depth. This is very basic, so let's get on with creating this one. And I'm going to now uh, show you the result of this because this is video. This was what was created from that. And my picture as far away as possible. And obviously we can from that reprompt, edit, etc. So why don't I close that and then show you what happened when I edited and asked to zoom in on that one as well. So when I did and hit the motion control and I zoomed in, this is what it came up with as well. Wonderful videos that created from a simple prompt. There's another version as well, again by panning more over to the right. So I'll let you play with that and then what we're going to do is we're going to actually add uh, an image right now. So what I've done here is I've gone to ChatGPT first and it's the same prompt in that, getting obviously an image of the Sagrada Familia and this is what it came up with. Now then what I have done, should you wish to dive into this other area of making a video, because I went down a rabbit hole today, I tell you what, I'm never going to get to the swimming pool. Anyway, so I wrote in my, as my prompt, create a four frame storyboard of the same image. Image one is a young girl looking at the Sagrada Familia in 1938. Image two, Gaudi himself looking on the Sagrada Familia in 1960. And image three is set in 92, the year of the Barcelona Olympics. Now, I made a big boo-boo because Gaudi died in 1926. So rather than somebody pointing that out, I'm going to just correct myself right here. So that being said, this is what was created from that, this wonderful image board. Okay, so what I have done then has asked it to now split all of those into individual frames to create video with Pika. And it did split the storyboard into different frames, different images, which I saved on my desktop. 
and then I went to Pika and I went and I wanted to actually let's move this bubble again and I'll show you what I did I'm always in the way aren't I look let's put that down there okay so I put in each of those different frames that I had saying it was part one of my story and asking to focus in on the little girl and this is what I got and I did the same thing and actually I upscaled it as well upscaling means that I basically wanted it of the best quality possible for then me taking it over to cat cut so with I hope I'm not confusing you too much I took three frames in the end and I put them in and I put a prompt with each one saying please pan towards the man with the hat for example because it's Gaudi and then in this case which is the Sagra Familia in 1992 because of the Olympics I asked to actually have more fireworks going on so as you can see plenty of fireworks there so now what I thought was we can just stop right there and I can say thanks for being here that's Pika good luck get off the waiting list and start using it or if you want to carry on I then went into CapCut CapCut is amazing again this is a, an AI tool that basically helps you uh, edit videos we can we can do all sorts of things I'm going to show you what I created with my three videos from Pika so free account basic account I'll let you explore the differences there but there's lots you can do and this is my project called Sagrada Familia now what I did was is I uploaded my three videos from Pika which were upscaled if you remember I then placed each of these videos in there and we're going to do another video for this thanks so much for being here if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel please do share away and I look forward to speaking to you here very soon so bye for now and let's watch the video now